Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Skill 5330AB Multisaw. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but it's basically their little mini circular saw. If you saw my project video where I made the DIY laptop table, you'll know that Skill very kindly sent me out some of their tools to try out. Well I've been pulling them through the paces and this is what this review is going to be. It's just my personal opinion, I'm by no way am I an expert, I'm just an average Joe after all, but I always like to look for review videos myself, whether I'm buying tools or electronics or anything like that. So hopefully this video can help you make your mind up whether you want to buy this saw or not. Let's start with what's included in the box. Of course there's the tool itself. There's two 80 tooth hardened steel blades. One's not pictured because I've got it installed in the saw. You also get one diamond disc included too. This is used for cutting ceramic tiles. To change the blades you need a hex key which is also included. There is also a dust extraction hose included, that connects to the saw and up to your dust extraction or vacuum cleaner. You also get a parallel guide included too for easy accurate straight cuts. The saw has a plunge function that has a maximum depth of cut of 28.5mm. The saw can cut all sorts of materials from wood, laminates, aluminium, pipes and even ceramic tiles using the included diamond disc. To power the saw on, you have to engage a safety switch. The safety switch is simply pushed forward and this allows you to press the power switch to start the saw. You also need to release the plunge function to make a cut and that's done with a large button on top. Just press the button and that will enable the blade to plunge through the base. This saw is labelled as a one handed saw and I do agree with that statement but I do find it awkward to access both the safety and plunge buttons at the same time. I do have small hands though which of course plays a big part in this. The more and more I use the saw I am beginning to get used to it though. You can easily set your plunge depth using the gauge on the top of the saw. Simply lift the latch and then simply move over the depth stop to the depth you require. Remember to lock it back down before use. To help you change the blade there is a very handy spindle lock switch on the back of the saw. By pressing this switch it stops the blade from turning. Before you change the blade on any tool make sure the tool is powered off and unplugged. This saw has a very useful power indicator light to show when the tool is receiving power. Always double check the plug first though. Now you can undo the hex nut and remove the blade. The process is the same but in reverse to install the blade. Lock the spindle, add the blade, add the washer and hex nut and then tighten. Make sure it is tight before use. Dust extraction on this saw is great. There is a small port behind the blade that you can just push fit the hose attachment onto. The other end fits onto your standard vacuum cleaner hose. The parallel guide is fitted at the front of the saw. There are a couple of metal tabs that you slide the guide through and then secure with a thumb screw on top. So you can set the size you require and tighten the guide in place. I'm going to show you the saw in action on 18mm plywood using the parallel guide. I have my dust extraction on so you can see how well that performs too.
As you can see, there is no dust that is visible, and the saw isn't struggling at all with this 18mm plywood. It produces a nice clean cut. I want to demonstrate its plunge function too. This is ideal for when you need a nice straight cut internally on a piece of material. This time I've left my dust extraction off so you can see just how much dust is produced. I haven't made any guidelines, I'm just making these cuts by eye. As you can see it's very simple to make those plunge cuts. So that's it then guys, I'm actually really impressed with this saw, I'm quite surprised with how powerful it is, especially for its small form factor. I do agree with skill that it is a one handed tool, I do struggle a bit with my little hands so I'll bear that in mind if you've got smaller hands too, but like I said in the video, the more I'm using it the more I am getting used to it now. My favourite feature of the saw has got to be its plunge functionality, a lot of circular saws don't even have a plunge function and those that do are actually quite expensive, so when you consider the price of this tool I really think it's a great buy. I'll leave a link down in the description to the product page of this saw so you can check it out for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope I covered a lot of the things that you wanted to know about the tool. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up, if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down. If you want to leave a comment please do so if you've got any questions about the saw or just anything in general please leave a comment, I answer all comments too. If you're not already subscribed to my channel please do so, I do a lot of different kinds of videos, not just reviews, I do project videos, quick tips and all kinds of different videos too, so I'm sure there'll be something that you enjoy. I really appreciate everybody who shares this video too, perhaps you know somebody who's in the market for a circular saw or something like that and they might find this review helpful, please do share it, I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for watching again.